you may have noticed the EZ debug LED and its blinking when you turn on your computer. So, in this video, we will learn how you can use this EZ debug LED to troubleshoot your computer if any problem arises. EZ debug LED, there is 4 LED CPU indicator, DRAM indicator, VG indicator, boot indicator. Each one have different purposes. When you turn on your computer, usually CPU is the first component check. System verify that CPU is present and functioning correctly. After the CPU check, the system test the RAM module to ensure that they are properly seated and functional. Third, the VGA or GPU check next. It verify the presence and functionality of the graphics card. Finally, the system check for connected boot device such as hard drive, solid state drive or other storage device. If all the components in your computer are fine, then every debug LED turn on and off quickly without staying on for an extended period of time. It usually means everything is completely normal. But how you can debug your computer using this LED if any problem arise? When error related in hardware occur, the similar LED indicator will remain constantly on. It will not blink. This indicator allows you to quickly determine the point of failure. If CPU indicator remains constantly on, it indicates CPU is not detected or fail. If DRAM indicator remains constantly on, then it indicates DRAM is not detected or fail. If BG indicator remain constantly on, it indicates GPU is not detected or fail. If boot indicator remain constantly on, it indicates the boot device is not detected or fail. Ok, let's try some basic fixing step if one of the debug indicator remain constantly on. If CPU indicator remain constantly on, then carefully remove your CPU. and check for any bent pin. Yeah, it's rare but not impossible. If there is any bent pin, then use tweezer to fix it. Be careful, otherwise you might just break it. Now, place your CPU on the place and carefully lock it. Before place heatsink, make sure you apply new thermal paste install it properly. Second, if the DRAM indicator remain constantly on, then carefully remove your RAM stick and clean the RAM stick foil with eraser. But remember, don't rub too hard, it can damage your RAM. And install it again. If you see DRAM indicator is still remain on, then try installing your RAM in different RAM slot. But if you have multiple RAM, then install your RAM one by one in different RAM slot and at the same time turn on your computer to find out any faulty RAM. Third, if the BG indicator remain constantly on, then reinstall the graphic card by cleaning graphic card foil. Yeah, if your graphic card need extra power supply, then make sure you connect that power supply properly. Last, if the boot indicator remain constantly on, then make sure your boot device SSD or HDD is securely plugged. If you have multiple storage device connected, disconnect all the drive except the boot drive temporarily. If you see still the same problem, then discharge to clear CMOS or remove the CMOS battery from the motherboard. Then wait 2 to 5 minutes, then reinstall it again. Once done, try booting up the system. Remember, all the basic fixing method mentioned in this video, make sure you do that after the computer power supply is completely disconnected. Ok, after trying this basic fixing step, if the debug LED indicator still remain on, then problem may be more complicated. 
you should contact to your nearby service center or any trusted repair shop. Guys, in some situation, you may have find your computer booting up and every debug LED turned on and goes off without remain constantly on. As you know, it usually indicate everything is completely normal, but still you see there is no output on your display. In that situation, if you try all of this fixing step which I mentioned in this video, I mean reinstalling your CPU, reinstalling your RAM and reinstalling your graphic card, reinstalling your boot device as well as the CMOS battery and make sure you clean the dust on your computer. Most of the time, it just fix your issue if problem is not complicated. The reason for this happen most of the time it is the dust on your CPU or rust on your RAM, graphics etc. So if you still stick with me end of this video that means you probably find something helpful from this video as well as you may find more helpful video from this channel. If you wish then you can check it out. If you wish to see more videos like this in the future then consider subscribe. Hope to see you in the next video.